Hey now, Petey Grizz here, and for my returning subscribers, how's it going? How you doing? Good to see you. See, subscribers get an extra greeting. Thanks for watching. Anyway, what I got here today is another Climber Small. I absolutely love Climber Small. It's one of my favorite knives. 84 millimeter knives are the specialty, the main focus of my collection. Uh, I have some really cool ones. I have a few that I thought I would literally never own. Uh, they're not impossible. These aren't impossible to find, but they're a little difficult to find. They can get pretty expensive. They can get a little retarded expensive. Like some, I, I see ones in auction occasionally. I think people get caught up in the bidding and just pay way too much for them. But anyway, this is a sweet little one that unfortunately is already sold, but I wanted to document it before it went out the door because it's a beauty. I was this close to keeping in it, but then, uh, uh, a guy uh, mentioned that uh, he had one when he was a kid that his dad gave him that he lost many years ago and he would love to have another one and this is exactly like it. So I, I sold it to him. I do I regret it? A little bit, but it makes me happy to make somebody else happy. So, you know, if I can uh, pick them up and uh, for a few dollars, you know, make a few dollars and then make somebody's day, that's a great day for me. Anyway, what we got here is a 84 millimeter body frame whatever you like to call it it does not have a key ring now uh during this time uh on a on the 91 millimeter version this would be called a traveler they did not oh the friggin train right on cue choo choo that's the gambler's express returning from atlantic city Anyway, uh, this would be called a traveler if it was 91 millimeters, but they did make made no such distinction amongst the uh, 84 millimeter versions, at least not on this model. They did some weird ones on the uh, other models. So what do we got here? Oh, I forgot to put it. Did it come with a toothpick? I'll put a toothpick where that goes out in the mail. But I think we all know what a toothpick looks like by now, right? I mean, is anybody really like, oh man, you didn't share the toothpick that time? Somebody will tell me, oh, you, know, you forgot to show the toothpick. I know, I forgot. My bad. I apologize. Please don't, please don't hurt me. So we got that four turn fluting corkscrew. Got that reamer. Biggity bow. Absolutely fantastic reamer. No sewing eye. Abs, which, you know, you would expect on a pre-85 example of this knife. Next up, we've got that cap lifter with the screwdriver, with the stripping notch. No longer does it have RIP, the sharpened edge for stripping cables. Bam, no half stop on that guy. Listen to that snap, love the snap. This I had to clean up extensively. This thing was gunked up, really gunked up. Really, really, really gunked up. And it took some while. I had to soak in some hot water. And then I used some WD-40. Uh, did some polishing on all the tools and the handles. And cleaned it up a bit. And uh, I think she came out beautifully. So we got a can opener. 2D Phillips. Small flathead. You know the drill. Next up, we got that pen blade. Pen blades. Nothing wrong with that. Good condition. Nice little, nice little backup blade right there. Then I'll go ahead and show that scissors now. Got them 84 millimeter scissors. She's a beaut. Maybe I should do that on camera. I'm having trouble with this one. This one's a little stiff. I really don't think this was used that much. To be honest, this looks like it was bought and thrown in a tackle box for about 30 years. And then just, uh some fish guts and melted rubber worms got in there because this thing really was funky. I probably should have done a video showing how dirty. This was one of the dirtiest knives I've ever come across and it came out absolutely sparkling when I cleaned it up. Don't judge a knife by its cover. I was much surprised to find this original blade etch from the cutler who sold it originally, Reimer in Luzerne, Switzerland. The Reimer Messerschmied. Very cool little family-owned cutlery 
Uh, usually when I look these up, they're still in business. I didn't look this one up yet, but I would, I would be I would be surprised if they're not still in business to this day. Got that four line tank stamp on the front. Fissier Swiss with the William Tell crossbow and the Swiss Patton cross on the back. What more can you ask for in a Swiss Army knife? That is a beautiful little knife. Uh, I wish it many years of happiness in its new home, and I will send it on its way to the next guy. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peter Grizz out.